Rachel, and this video is going to show how to use a ring sling with a newborn. And the first thing you want to do is decide what side of your body you want to hold the baby. If you want the baby on your right side, you'll put the rings on the left. If you want baby on your left side, you put the rings on the right. And I'm going to show first off just how to put your sling on. And I'm assuming you already know how to thread it. If you don't know how to thread it, I have another video on my channel that shows how to thread a ring sling. So let's say you want baby on your right side. You're going to hold the rings in your left hand with the tail pointing toward the left, put your arm in, and put it on your shoulder. Okay? Same thing on the other side, if I want my baby on my left side, I'm going to hold the sling in my right hand, tail pointing toward the right, put my arm in, and my head in. And now, the next thing you want to do is have this about the right size for your baby. So if I have my sling really loose like this, and I go to put a newborn in, it's going to be really hard to adjust. So what I always do is tuck my elbow close to me like this, and I tighten up right around my elbow. So I'm going to tighten this top part that's orange, right here, right around my elbow. Tighten a little bit of the middle. I'm going to leave the bottom as is. That looks really tight, but that's actually about the right size for a newborn. Another thing I want to do is just double check that my threading is fine. I'm going to finger walk it. So I put my thumb in. Just walk my finger along and make sure you can see all of the stripes of the different colors of this sling. Make sure that my top edge is on the top and not folded under and my bottom edge is on the bottom and not folded under. Okay, so now I have my sling ready to go and now at this point I would pick up my baby. I'm going to put my rings um, just kind of just below my collarbone. That's about where I want them to end up. I'm going to put them right where I want them. And then I'm going to get this little lady. This is Allie, who is two weeks old. And I'm going to pick her up as if I'm going to burp her. And a newborn just naturally takes a perfect position when you hold them to your chest. I want her to be positioned like this, making a little M shape with her legs. So what I'm going to do is pick her up like I'm going to burp her. I'm going to bring this fabric down into a tube and put her little legs through it. And then I'm just going to sit her right on this tube. Pull, I'm actually pulling it a little bit from the back so that that slack's not stuck behind my back. I'm going to sit her right on it in just the position I'd like her to be in. So this is how I want her positioned, knees above bottom, nice and high on my body. And now I'm going to take the top edge, which is orange here, bring that up over her. And I'm just going to sort of spread the fabric up and over her. Ooh, there we go. Alright, now I'm going to work with the bottom and I'm going to make a seat. So I'm going to take any slack that's caught behind me in this bottom blue rail and I'm going to bring it in between us up to about her diaper. There's a couple ways to get a good seat. One way is to just reach in between you, kind of pull the baby out a little at the bottom. Reach in between you and pull up. Another way is to reach in between you this way and pull up. And you want the fabric to go about to the top of their diaper. So now you see I have very little adjusting to do. I'm not done. I still need to tighten up a little bit, but since I set it most of the time ahead of time, I don't have a lot to tighten. So I've got a nice seat here, and I've got a lot of slack over here. So I'm going to bring this slack toward the rings. I'm holding my baby, and now I'm going to pull this back from the hands. I'm pulling the orange, a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the white, a little bit of the blue. I'm going to get a little more. I can make a little roll here, maybe. Just sort of give a little extra leg support and tighten that top rail just a little bit. So notice as I'm tightening, I'm lifting up on her bottom and I'm bringing the fabric through the way it came. So back this way. And my rings have not really moved at all. I put them right below my collarbone, have corsage level, and they've stayed there. So this is newborn ring sling. Um, a couple other quick tricks. If the little roll, if you feel this doesn't give you enough head support, you can take a little washcloth or something and just roll that in here. But I find that usually, if I just make a tiny roll here and tighten the top rail, it's plenty of head support. Um, this is also really easy to nurse in. Um, I usually nurse upright, even with a newborn. I loosen a little bit, holding her bottom. Take her down where I'd like her. She doesn't actually want to nurse right now, so I'm not going to actually nurse, but I'll show you how I would do it. If I was going to nurse her, I'd lean forward a little bit and kind of um, aim up, basically. Then I'd latch her on. If you need cover while you're nursing, something that works really well is to just go like this and kind of cover the top of your chest. You can also hold a rail and sort of make like a little tent, but you should always be able to see your baby. When you're done nursing, 
You can lift back up and just, I usually hold her right where I want her so her head is nice and high and begin to tighten again. Pulling the top, through the middle. You, the secret to a ring sling is adjusting each part. So you don't want to grab and pull the whole tail, but find the top part, find the middle part, find the bottom part, and adjust those one at a time. So there we go, newborn ring sling. Oh, I forgot to mention, sorry. You also want to spread out your shoulder, if that's comfortable for you, and spread out the back. Um, if that caps your shoulder too much, you can always just bring it up. So there we go. Thanks.